10 Wednesday and I'm doing my top 10 books of 2014. I don't have all of them. My number one is not here yet. I'm sorry. But I have all the rest. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to start things off, I am doing an honorable mention that deserves to be on this list but isn't here. And that is Ian Dosher's William Shakespeare Star Wars, Verily A New Hope. I love Star Wars. This was so weird, so awesome. I just, I loved it. I read it all in like three hours. It was a very, very fast read, especially because of how it's written. It's written like a play. I love getting in all the characters' heads. I have a review for this. I will link it down in the doobly doo So check that out if you haven't yet. And number 10 is a book that I also don't have and can't get my hands on, but I have the book before it. It's the Royal Ranger, book 12 instead of 11 of the Ranger's Apprentice series by John Flanagan. I really love this series and I was so sad for it to end. It is the 12th book so it's been a while. I've been reading it since I was like in high school. I don't have a review for it because I didn't join booktube when I started. It's just like this fluffy light read. However, there is a huge thing that I could not have called. The main character, Will, is rather unpredictable, and it's really interesting. We get a new character, and it seems like he could create a whole new series about Will and his apprentice, and that doesn't happen. But we're getting a Halt series this year. And number nine is two books, one of which I don't have, but that is House of Hades and The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, books four and five of the Heroes of Olympus series. I have a review for both of them. I will link them down in the doobly-doo. I really loved Heroes of Olympus. I didn't expect to like Percy Jackson at all, and I read all of the Percy Jackson's books back to back, and then I breezed through Heroes of Olympus as soon as I could. This was one of the most anticipated releases for 2014. I didn't have a video about it, but I was looking forward to it, whether or not I was part of booktube. It did let me down in a few ways, but it still was really good. House of Hades was really good. I just, I loved it. Number eight is another book I don't have, but I have the prequel right here, and that is The Revenge of Seven by Pitticus Lore. This is the Fall of Five, the book right before it. The Revenge of Seven, wow. It is the fifth book in the Lorian Legacy series, the I'm number four strand, and the seventh book released. Actually, it's the eighth book. I forget that, it's the eighth book. And it has a lot of world building. Lots of secrets come out in it, and it just leaves you dying for more. I did not expect to love it as much. The Fall of Five wasn't very great, but this series never lets me down. There is all sorts of buzz going around about the author, because Pitticus Lore is two people, and one of the authors is not a good person. So I get all my books used, so he doesn't get any of my money. But I really do like that book. I like the series. I don't like the author, but I like the series, and he hasn't let me down yet. Number seven is a manga series that finally wrapped up after 15 years of publication and about 12 years of this person reading it. It's Naruto by Masashi Kishimoto. Naruto follows the story of Naruto, a boy with a nine tails demon fox trapped inside of him. He is an orphan and is living on his own. His entire village does not like him because of the demon that lives inside of him. However, Naruto dreams one day of becoming Hokage, the leader of the shinobi village, and becoming the greatest shinobi among them and welcomed by everyone. And the story is how he does it. That is kind of a spoiler, but kind of obvious. And number six is three books from the same series. I am talking Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress. The three books currently released in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I did not expect to like Cinder, and yet the very end, it won me over. Scarlet was even better, and Cress was even better. I have book reviews for all three of these, linked down in the doobly-doo. They are all between four and five stars each. I love them. So well done. This story follows a side Cyborg named Cinder, who in her world, which is a futuristic, funky Earth, people who are cyborgs or people with prosthetic limbs are looked down upon as second class citizens. And it's a fairy tale retelling of Cinderella mixed in with Sailor Moon. And if you know both of those stories, I have to admit, you follow, you know the story of Cinder. But the story gets harder to tell with each book, and each book made me really, really happy. I enjoyed them a lot. And number five is a book I also 
also don't own, but it's the seventh and final book in the Artemis Fowl series by Ian Colfer. Artemis Fowl, The Last Guardian. Now, this is going to be a little bit of spoilers for Artemis Fowl, but what I love about it so much is that we see Artemis go from, in this book where he's a villain, to a hero. And this is a big spoiler because, again, I read this before I joined BookTube, so no review is it. But, spoiler, I will put this book down when I am done with my spoiler for Artemis Fowl in case you don't want to hear it. Artemis does the same thing that another book that I'll mention that you guys probably know of. He sacrifices himself for the greater good. The Artemis in book one sure as hell wouldn't have done that. The Artemis in book three wouldn't have done that. And slowly he has turned from a villain to a hero and turned from a dumb boy into a man of great standing. And I just loved it. However, at the very beginning, how the bad guy gets out to do the things that she does I didn't really like it, and it was really kind of lame and hard to get into. If I can find it, I will link my review, my Goodreads review, for that book. All right, spoilers done now. You can come back, unmute me. And number four, once again, I don't have the book on me. However, I have the sequel. I am talking about Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor. Not this one. Daughter of Smoke and Bone was a book recommended to me by Raven, and thanks to Booktubeathon, I managed to finally pick it up and read it, and I loved it. It was so good. While Days of Blood and Starlight was a letdown, Daughter of Smoke and Bone was not. I adored it. It was so good. I love the world. I love the characters and Susanna and Karu are just so fun to read. And the number three spot, I actually don't own this, but I got it from the library, and that is Nora, Rise of the Yokai Clan by Hiroshi Shiibashi. Nora, I started last year, and I managed to read to completion this year, and it has become one of my favorite manga series in my, my top 10 manga. It is in number three spot, which is pretty impressive considering I've read a crap ton of manga. I really, really love it. I thought it was really fun and I am sad that it's over. However, there is an anime. I have not watched all two of all of the two seasons and hopefully they'll do more because there's at least room for four. In the number two spot is an entire trilogy. I am talking about Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, the Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth. I did not expect to like this. In fact, I was dead set of never reading it. I spoiled myself for Allegiant. Don't do that. I just didn't want to read it and oh my gosh, my friends convinced me to watch the movie first and I loved the movie and the books are even better and I enjoyed all of them and the only one I don't own is Insurgent. This is my friend Ravens. I want it so bad. I can't wait to read four. I can't wait to see the movies. I'm just, I loved it. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but it is my second favorite of 2014, the entire year. In the number one spot, I've posted this on Tumblr and on my blog all over the place. Y'all probably know what it is because I compared every book to this book and said where they stood against it. It really set the bar, nothing took it down, and I don't have it with me, but here is the cover! <laughs> Batman Night of the Owls by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo! Wow! This is the first part of the New 52 and it just got me addicted. I read 30 comics thanks to reading Night of the Owls. I did read a few more before it. I read the two, first two Nightwing volumes, but those are part of Night of the Owls. In fact, the second volume's called Night of the Owls. Man, it is so good. I love it. I don't own it and it kills me inside. I love it so much. It was my favorite. It was so well done. Basically, Batman learns that this ancient rhyme that school children learn that everyone thinks is just a Gotham legend is legit. The Court of Owls is real and now they are after Bruce and every other main person in Gotham and Night of the Owls is when it all goes down. 12 hours of sheer chaos branching across every single Bat family member. That's like seven different comics pulled into this chaotic, terrible night. It is just amazing. I read it before I actually read Batman Volume 1, which is before Night of the Owls. Oh man, I couldn't stop reading. Still can't, I'm in the middle of Batman Eternal, which takes place after. It's just so good, it was so well done. 
oh, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Five out of five stars, 100%. Very few things get 100%. None of these books got 100%. Divergent was the closest, and Allegiant was very close to it too. All right, that is my top 10 of this pa of the past year, not this year, the past year. I'm sorry that all of my videos I'm wearing this same outfit I just filmed. This is like the third, no, the fourth video I filmed in this outfit. Sorry. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. Again, every other Wednesday is a top 10 Wednesday. Every Friday, unless there's something going on, like half of this month, is a book review, including a lot of them that are down here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, and good luck with your reading. This isn't the first video I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> and was so sad to hear it. Just to hear it. Number eight is another book I don't have, but I have the prequel right here. That's the wrong book. There is all sorts of k humdrum. K I don't know. What is the word I'm looking for? He isn't. I got a hair on my lip. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. He Is like sideways on my left. There it is. Sorry. The three books released yet current. Oh, that is so nasty. Ugh. I am talking divergent, a surgeon, a surgeon, <laughs> divergent, a surgeon, and illegent. That makes no sense, Laura. I just didn't. Every top ten Wednesday. Every top ten Wednesday. That makes no sense. Oh, you make sense.